Shovel full wide, shovel full dirt, jump back off the shovel and pile high by the tombstone that marked my new home and my soul. Watch people stand in my brain's hole, and I found it odd when the preacher said, soul his rest gone. People walked backwards, back towards their cars, and jumped in back first as that black curse reversed and backed away until it reached the church on that sad, solemn Saturday. As raindrops jumped from the ground to the clouds, and the preacher said aloud, pray us left, and I could not forget the haste with which tears fled single file back up my mother's face, and my sister's look of hurt as she walked my mother backwards out the church, and I was back in that funeral home. Some Unknown man had a tube in my hand and I heard him say it's fluid embalming and as an accident my blood came back in. Suddenly I was once again in his hospital bed and my heartbeat said boop, 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 boop. I was alive again and the nurse back then and night turned into day five times in cyclical fashion and that nurse kept asking today you are how. Every four hours I vomited up the six pills she made me devour and hope that they killed what's causing me this pain. My room was filled with flowers, and day by day they became less as tests were conducted, only after results were told to me. Five days prior to my demise, my arrival was marked by ambulatory sirens, and I was in the back of that ambulance as it swiftly sped steadfastly back to the apartment in which I dwelled, and I saw scenes of hell as I was carried on that gurney back into the apartment and placed back on the floor as paramedics rushed backwards out the door in moments before they responded quick. I Regained consciousness and started feeling sick. All of a sudden, I was healthy and well. He's is how my mother told the person on the phone I was doing, and with the hello, the conversation had begun, and then she hung up the phone, and then the phone rang. It took me back to the time 379 days ago when the phone rang, and I answered it real slow. Prior to that slow hello, I took a breath, and suddenly it was two weeks ago, and I just took a blood test. The needle came slowly out my arm and I rolled my sleeve back down and I walked backwards around the exam chair and sat back in the waiting room with a carefree stare of reflection on how I could not possibly have an affection infection. I walked backwards out the doctor's office and sat back in the softness of my Maximus seats and I drove the streets backwards through time to six months ago and I arrived back on the doorstep of some girl that I really didn't know. I walked back through her door and my clothes and her clothes both hit the floor and I told her before this like sex had never I. Prior to our sexual action, our passionate attraction had us kissing and I kept reminiscing back to the look in her eyes when she smiled and I thought cool. Then I remember she said that me don't you. It was a quarter past two and I saw my soul looking back at me and I knew I was acting foolishly. You don't get second chances to bad romance and then I begged my soul to let me go back to that moment in time when I was still a living, breathing man with that unused condom jumped out the trash can and made me back. <laughs>